Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Power Is Now. My name is Eric Frazier. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to uh, join me this afternoon. For those of you who are real estate professionals, please share this link. Today, we're having our first ever marketing session, and I'm excited about it because it's an opportunity for real estate agents nationwide and, in fact, worldwide to be able to come into The Power Is Now platform and to talk about their real estate for sale. So folks, this show is just about real estate and real estate alone. We have other shows, as you know, The Power Lunch, which is every Tuesday at 1230 for real estate professionals, and our online first-time homebuyer seminar, which is every Tuesday night at 7 o'clock. But on Thursdays, we have a special opportunity for real estate professionals to come together worldwide, statewide, no matter where you're at, folks, you can join us right here on the Power Is Now marketing session and to take advantage of our ever-growing audience to promote your real estate. Now, uh, we have some great agents online with us today and uh, they're gonna be talking about their properties for sale. I want to encourage the agents that are with us right now to please uh, reach out to their sellers. You know, uh, sellers always wanna know what you're doing. You know, what are you doing to sell my property? You know, what are you doing to get me a buyer, right? Well, this is just one more thing that any agent coming on this show can talk about that they're doing to help bring exposure to the listings they have for the sellers they represent. And so, without any further ado, let's begin with our first agent, and uh, his name is Rohan. Rohan Moore, welcome to The Power Is Now Marketing Session. Well, thank you, Eric. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us. Uh, Rohan, you are the farthest away. And uh, so let everybody know a little bit about yourself. Uh, you're coming from Barbados, and uh, you're a real estate professional down, down there with some great listings to share with us today. Well, yeah, my name is uh, Rohan Moore, and my license number is 29549. And just to give you a little bit about our company, uh, Champion Realtors, we have been registered since 2001. And primarily, uh, real estate is what we do best in Barbados. And not just limited to Barbados, but we reach out to North America and all over the, the universe. And one of the things that we kind of like um, do for our, our, our buyers and sellers is to really focus in on getting the job done in a timely manner. And that's what we do at Champion Realtors. Well, fantastic. Uh, tell us about the property you have for sale uh, and how many listings are you gonna be sharing with us today, actually? Well, primarily we have several um, listings in terms of the categories of um, uh, sales, which will be residential and commercial. Again, um, in the real estate business in Barbados, you are not limited just to specialize in a particular field. As a broker owner, we can actually sell almost anything on the planet. And so the actual properties we have for sale right now are even from hotels, guest houses, residential, and you name it, we have it in Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So let's, uh, let's start with the first one. Okay, we have actually um, in the fair market, which we have now, we have one of the residential properties, um, a range, price range, Again, uh, the U.S. prices are kind of two to one in Barbados. So I want to quote the U.S. price. It makes it much easier for a global audience. And so we have the primary average um, middle income person. We'll have something like 275,000 U.K. Uh, U.S. dollars, which will be like a three bedroom, two bathroom. And uh, the size will be like, uh, something like 10,000 square feet of land. And this particular property will be located in the center parish of Barbados, which is called St. George. Okay, so um, tell us about the next one. In fact, how do they get a hold of you first? Let's uh, share some information. For, for those of you who are watching us on Facebook and you're interested in these properties, they are on the Powers Now uh, Facebook page as well as um, on our website. So uh, Rohan, uh, is there a particular address or reference number you would like to give on this particular property? Well, one of the things that we do too, um, we also have um, our, um, our own website, 
that we, we kind of like um, promote also. Okay. And folks can actually tap into our website, which is um, www.championrealtors1.com. which is one.com And you see a whole list of, of properties um, listed out in commercial, residential um, properties there for viewers to, to view. So can you repeat that website one more time? Sure, www.championrealtors.com. So Champion Realtors One. Correct. .com. Champion Realtors One dot com. Okay. So tell us about the next uh, listing you have. Champion Realtors One. We have one, one for again. We, we care to like middle and upper. For the upper bracket, um, which you find that the advantage that we have in Barbados. And I kind of like enjoy saying this, it's summer all year round. And so when it's actually snowing elsewhere, we do have um, sunshine in Barbados. And one of the properties that we have is a high-end property, which we call um, it's over a million, a million US. Actually, to be exact, it's actually 4.5 4 million US, um, which is actually more of a, a market property. Because we do have for the rich and famous as well, in Barbados, um, you know, obviously Rihanna owns a property in Barbados, and so we have several high-end properties which we cater to um, the persons who would want to have a second home or vacation home in Barbados. So, Rohan, if, if there's a property for sale uh, near the water, right, uh, what would be the lowest price point we're looking at in Barbados? Um, Barbados is actually based on location. So let's say you're close to the beach. We call it a beachfront property. So right. most of the beachfront properties are mostly sold high-end. And you can understand why. Because you get a park to actually use the facility of that beach. It's not private because no beaches in Barbados is private. But being close and living close to the beach, you kind of almost have as though it's private for you. So to give you a kind of idea, it would be, it'd be over in the millions. Let's say about maybe two or three million U.S. Okay. Nice. Now, Barbados is primarily a tourist company, right? Country. What, what, uh, what, what type of employment opportunities are, are most people living there that have the money to purchase down there? Are they their businesses in other countries, and that's just a place you go to hang out? What's, what's the economy like in Barbados? Well, one of the things Barbados, again, is, is, is it's 166 square miles. It has a population of about 285,000 people. And so you'll find that Barbados has a, a diverse um, culture. You can have where for tourists only, you can have them for residential, and then you can have offshore for business. Mm -hmm. So for the savvy business person, you don't have to be a resident to actually even own a real estate in Barbados. As really? long as you show the government that you can maintain your, your, yourself, that is all you need to do. Wow. Well, you know, I have friends that love to do a lot of traveling, and uh, they've been considering buying property in Mexico and other places like that. Uh, we're going to have to add Barbados to their list as a possible investment to take advantage of uh, uh, the growing real estate opportunities in Barbados. Well, Rowan, thank you for sharing this information with us. Uh, folks, his information is on our website and also on this Facebook page. If you would like to reach out to Rohan, uh, please do so and learn more about the opportunities to buy or lease uh, in Barbados, even hotels. So Rohan, I'm really impressed that you sell hotels as well as residential property and vacation properties. Uh, so uh, can I get a good deal in a hotel right now? I mean, what? <laughs> Uh, Only because it's you, Eric, we would definitely, definitely do that for you. See? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're definitely going to have to talk online about that. I've never even thought about, you know, one of the great things about being exposed to opportunities, you just learn about things that perhaps you'd even think about doing it. Why not pull together a few people and buy a hotel? That mm -hmm. way I have the income coming in. And when I want to go down there and spend time, I just stay in one of the rooms I own. While, in, while making money at the same time. So uh, what is a typical hotel run down there? Last question for you, then I'm gonna move on to April. What, what's, a, what's a typical hotel? Or tell me about just one hotel listing you have right now. We have um, a hotel, it's actually, uh, the price point is kind of like um, 30 million US, 
And the advantage for any investors will be uh, the Barbados dollar is actually two to one US. And so it makes it quite an advantage for any um, investor to definitely want to look at buying um, several hotels in Barbados. And wow. so definitely have one which is actually on the South Shore, which is a more of a popular tourist belt area, going for 30 million US. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, folks, uh, his uh, website again is Champion Realtors One, Champion Realtor One, and um, it's on the website. Please connect with him. Please reach out to them. Let them know that you heard him on the Powers Now radio and our Facebook Live. Thank you, Rohan, uh, for joining us today. Hang in there with us. Uh, as you, if you have any questions in the chat room, please. Uh, write your questions in and I'll ask of all of the guests that are with us today. I'll be happy to ask your questions and of course uh, you can reach out to them directly and uh, get your questions answered. Next up is April Harris. And I'm so excited uh, to have April on. She is our newest team member of The Power Is Now, hailing out of uh, Northern California. I won't even try to pronounce the name again. Uh, but April, welcome to The Power Is Now team and welcome to our marketing session. Thank you so much, Eric. Pleasure being here. So April, uh, what city are you out of in Northern California? I actually live in Kel Kelseyville, California, which is on Clear Lake. So oh, great. If you are familiar with Clear Lake, um, yeah, I just live on a section of the lake. Now, I see that we have the grandkids in the background. I'm a grandfather. We've got two and one more on the way. And uh, let's make sure they listen, they pay attention, because we want to prepare them for their future career as agents for the powers now. <laughs> there you go. Start them young. Start them young, absolutely. So let's talk about the listings you have. And before we do, what is your license number for those who are interested in, in working with you? My license number through CalDRE is 019-88009. All right. So let's start with the first listing. Well, um, yeah, I have some pretty nice stuff on the market right now. Um, I have a commercial piece that's on the market. It's right on State Highway 53 coming into Clear Lake, um, right there in Lower Lake. Uh, it's a mixed use zone, C2. Um, it, and it's priced at 575. Um, it has its own private water well. Um, it's on community sewer. Um, it's like I said, it's right on the highway. It's um, two legal lots. Um, what's on it right now are two modular homes because as um, my, my clients reminded me, the, um, the zones changed around them. They purchased the property back in the early part of the 20th century, like in the late 20s, early 30s. And since then the highway's been developed in front of their home. So it was rezoned. Um, that's a great one because it is in a very limited commercial zoning area um, with two highway entrances as well as a side street entrance. So someone who has something in a high traffic area need, um, that's a great opportunity. I also got my first um, large Land lot listing of 249 acres, um, which more than 100 of the acres are usable for growing. Um, we're in wine country and the owners was going to either start a vineyard or um, a walnut orchard. So it is ag zoned. That's coming in at under $500,000 at 475. And that's right off of East State 20 and Clear Lake Oaks, um, which is positioning us going towards Sacramento. So if you have um, someone who's interested in running cattle or grapes or um, any other agricultural industries, that's a great opportunity, 249 plus acres with a beautiful panoramic view. Um, and all of this is in the CRMLS. So um, easily found. Um, going back, I, I, want to, I want to explore just a little further with you both of these listings before you go further. Uh, this 575, you said this is commercial zoning now, even though there's two modular, 
uh, homes. Are those homes in livable condition? Can someone rent those right now while they're perhaps planning to build a strip center or some type of commercial space? Uh, yes, they're habitable. Um, they're actually in really decent condition. Um, I was excited when I got the listing because it had all these old growth trees and flowers, <laughs> kind of an agriculturalist. Um, but it has fruit trees, it has grapevines, it has um, great fig trees. I took a couple of figs off of there and hooked it up with an appetizer. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and some apples and pears, I believe, on the property already. Like I said, it, it was in the 1930s when the folks lived there. It was Depression era. You grew most of what you you know could afford. So they had their you know, their livestock and fruit trees that maintained their family during the hard years. So this is in Canyon Lake. What what area? Clear Lake. Oh, Clear Lake. Yeah, okay. and Clear Lake is in Lake County, which is between Mendocino County and Napa. Um, a lot of folks reference us as Napa to the north because back in the 1850s when California became a state, we were part of Napa County. And it was shifted later, but now the wine industry has gone back to that designation. Okay. Now on the 249 acres, uh, you're saying this is ideal to build a winery. Uh, this would be the, av the probably the- uh, Not necessarily a winery, a vineyard, um, because okay. it is on slopes. Um, okay. I think a, a vineyard would do fabulously there because we are at that Appalachia where we're competing. And it is in, it's in the High Valley Appalachia for those who are in the wine industry. Um, and the wines that are made in this region are scoring in the 90s for those wine enthusiasts. We're scoring in the 90s um, and we're competing with of course, the Napa County and Sonoma County wineries, but we're also competing with wineries out of South Africa, Australia. So yeah, this is definitely, and this Appalachia is less than 10 years old, about 10 years old. So it's new, competing already. Now as vineyards go, 249 uh, acres, that's, uh, is that pretty big? Is that small? I mean, That's about mid-range. I mean, I've, I've met some folks who started with as little as five acres. Oh, really? Yeah. So if I wanted to create a winery, what, what area is this, by the way, the 249, 249 acres? What area? It's in Clear Lake Oaks. Oh, Clear Lake. And they, there, there are other, Siago Winery, I think that's part of the Fetzer family there in this area. Um, let me think, who else is in there? A couple of smaller ones. Shannon Ridge is pretty well known in the commercial market. They're right in the Clear Lake Oaks area. Um, so yeah, there are, there are wineries that are known that are from this region. What is the purchase price of this property? This is listed at 475. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So you're telling me I can buy 249 acres of uh, land that is suitable for a, uh, for a vineyard. Wine, for a vineyard. Yeah, and more than 100 acres are plantable. Really? Um, it's on a private road. It's already gated. Um, there's a couple of home sites that are available. There's a dry creek running through it, so there's no water well there, but we know there's water available. Right, right. Well, congratulations on two really incredible listings. And I'm curious to know how you got those listings, uh, but we can save that for another show. <laughs> uh, but uh, you, you have been in this area all your life. You grow up. So you are a wine enthusiast yourself. You know uh, wine uh, making, the whole process, right? Uh, tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I, yeah, I grew up in Northern California, originally from Marin City, California. Um, my family moved into Rohnert Park in the 1970s. I moved to Lake County in the mid 90s and raised my son here and now my grandson. Um, so I've always been in Northern California for more than 50 years, except for a small stint on the East Coast doing graduate school. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, folks, uh, 
as I mentioned, April is a brand new team member. I'm talking like brand spanking new uh, with the Powers Now. And so you're going to be hearing a lot more from her. Check her out on the Powers Now TV in the next few weeks here as we learn more about her background. Do you have any other listings you want to share with us? Um, I, I have a number of lot listings throughout Lake County. Um, one that I would, um, yeah, and I'm sure it'll be uploaded to your page in due time. Um, small lots, commercial lots, not commercial, but small lots, double lots where someone can build a nice little homestead for, you know, price ranging um, under $60,000. I have a couple of lots, same owner that in the Clear Lake Rivieras, one lot is on the market for 25,000. It has a kind of a peekaboo lake view. Um, and then I have another one um, on the market at 55,000 and that has a substantial lake view higher on the ridge. Um, I also would like to promote this one that I have in Clear Lake proper, and this is a two bedroom, two bath um, home for 249 on two city lots. Um, the address is 3965 Oak Ave. Um, this place, um, it's a modular, but it was totally redone. Um, it's totally furnished, which is an anomaly up here where, you know, all you have to do is bring your personal belongings and set up shop. Um, it has custom leather furniture in it, um, lots of built-in cabinetry. Um, the range is a gas and electric range because up here we, you know, we're in the mountains, so we have power outages. So they thought it was prudent to have um, gas availability, you know, in those days whenever the power goes out. Um, big screen television, um, walk-in closets, has a two-car garage that's detached with extra storage in the rafters, um, gazebo, garden area, just absolutely lovely. And I can't wait for that one to be uploaded because I think that is one of my favorite residential listings. Um, April, what is the price again on that one? I mean, what you're describing, uh, how much you say? <laughs> 249, 249, yes. 249,000 for all that? Yes, yes. Wow. I, I, I tell my friends, um, this is like the last frontier in this region for reasonable prices because you go to Sonoma County where, you know, I was raised for the most part and prices for a condo start at a half million. So, yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, I can't wait uh, to do a deep dive with you on each of those listings. So folks, we're going to do an interview with April on every listing she has and get into the weeds uh, so that you can fully understand, you know, what the value proposition is here with these great listings. And it's, uh, it's what we do here at the Power Is Now for our power agents. Um, one of the things you mentioned about the, the, the price points on the lots you have for sale, 60,000 was one and 25,000. How big are those lots? Um, well, those two lots, the one at 9548 Timberline, that's 25,000. And I want to say, it, you know, it's larger than a standard lot. Okay. Um, but it's in, uh, as well as the one at 5718 Ponza Way. Okay. We're both in the Clear Lake Rivieras, which is this the country club region of That's Clear Lake. Wow. Um, they have the country club, they have the community pool, lots of community events, um, a little isolated from the rest of Lake County. Sure. Um, and whenever you say the Rivieras, people typically know that these homes are considered um, elite or okay. high rent. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're out of time for you, April. I could go on with you, but folks, I want you to know that um, that's the new strategy right now, buying a lot and building a house, uh, because there are lots of lots for sale. All the homes for sale are selling at the top of the market. Uh, here at The Powers Now, we have a program. It's an FHA product where you can actually buy the land and build the house with only 3.5% down. 
And folks, no one's taken advantage of that product. And so we want to bring that to the marketplace. So April, let's put a first time home buyer in that, you know, they can get the house of their dream, have the money to buy the lot and build the house with only three and a half percent down of the total acquisition price. More on that, folks. We're going to be talking about that on our Tuesday night show at seven o'clock. Uh, the uh, Power is Now home, online home buyer seminar. Well, we're going to move now. In fact, oh, before we go, April, why don't you give your number uh, and email address for anyone that would like to uh, contact you who are listening on Blog Talk Radio. For those of you who are on Facebook, it's in the chat room. But go ahead, April. Okay, 707-814-5457 is my number. And I've been using Lake Living in NorCal, N-O-R-C-A-L, at gmail.com. But my new address is also april.harris at thepowersnow.com. All right. Well, again, welcome to the team. Next up is my good friend and uh, just probably one of the most uh, hardworking and uh, tenacious real estate brokers I know. That is Kenneth Sessions, also known as Sessions Real Estate. Sessions TV, the man. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Kitty. Hey, Eric, man. It's good to be here with you this morning, man. Thank you. Tell our audience your license number, and then let's get right to it, man. Talk about some great listens you have. Well, I've got a very old license. <laughs> My BRD number is 00966569. Kenny, how long have you been in the business, man? Brother, this is my 30th anniversary, man. I just celebrated 30 years in September. Um, continuously 30 years uh, selling real estate in the Bay Area. Wow, wow. Folks, Kenny had one of the most popular cable television shows uh, on Coffee TV for many years now. That's why he is a household name. For those of you who are watching us, you may recognize him or his name. Uh, Kenny, I appreciate you coming on and sharing your listings. Uh, and I appreciate your business. We just closed a deal. Just It just recorded this morning, man. And uh, uh, we were talking earlier, folks, about this deal was a special deal because yeah. it reminded us both of why we are in this business. Am I right about that, Kenny? Well, man, you know, you're making me tear up. You know, everybody that know me know I'm real sensitive, man. Um, <laughs> I'm tearing up right now, you know, to help a, a young African-American mother with five children, no job, moving to her first house, man. <laughs> That's what we do this for, man. And I, I told her this morning, it's not about the money because the house was only $200,000. Right. Believe it or not, Eric, they cut my commission on that. They only wanted to pay uh, a 2% <laughs> commission on 200 <laughs> You know, if I did this for the money, I would not sell you this one. I'd go find you at least something where I can get paid. But <laughs> I, I tell people all the time, I don't do this just for the money, man. No, no. You you have a heart for the business and you have a heart for your community. And um, just for clarification, folks, she doesn't have a job, uh, but she does have a, have a job. She, she has, has a income. job raising you know, five kids who are all some, in some way dealing with some type of disability. And uh, she is a tremendous individual. Uh, uh, just, uh, I'm, I'm so happy for her uh, to be able to find a home at a price range we could get her into, Lenny, Kenny, and to, and to finance her. She got an FHA loan and um, with no money down, one of our down payment assistance programs. And uh, so it was truly a blessing. Yeah. And, you know, she got blessed because how I met her, and I'm, I'm going to plug out my, 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 my bike club. Um, we call him Airman from the East Bay Dragons. Um, she actually, the, the, this lady actually, her kids are in uh, Airman's wife's class over at um, the school right there in West Oakland off of 8th. Um, I can't think of the name of it right now. Prescott. Prescott School in West Oakland. Um, and he referred her to me. We start talking. I put her in your hands, man. You guys worked out everything. 
You know, she's got, I mean, this is one of those deals, Eric, where everything that we that we know, we used it all. You know, inclusive of you, man, because, you know, she's married, but her, her husband is away, if you will. Yeah. We had to go to the jailhouse and get him to, I'm gonna, let me take that back. We had, to, we had to do what we had to do to get him to sign off while he's incarcerated. I guess she'll tell you that, too. Right, right. Uh, we had to get the notary in the, in the jailhouse to sign him. Man, we got moving issues. Then she's also moving out of a house. She got, I think she, she got $10,000 cash for keys to move out of a house. A, a, a Victorian, beautiful Victorian in West Oakland. The owner that bought that house is giving her 10,000 cash for keys. And that was money that we, we were able to throw in the pot. Man, so this one, this one was, you know, I got to use all everything I know on this one, bro. You know, it was a it was a divine appointment, Kenny, for her to meet you and for us to all to work on this together. And uh, we really did have to pull out everything we know. You know, this is where being in the business, like you have for thirty years, me for thirty five, um, is where it all comes together, isn't it? And yeah. Well, part of that too is you know, believe it or not, on the other side of the deal, you know, you always have a couple. Not always, but a lot of times you have a couple agents in the business uh, in the deal. I had an agent on the other side of the deal with a license number of one nine. So that tells me that he's brand new. This guy was a brand new agent and dealing with someone that that was a little frustrating too, because unfortunately when you don't know nothing, you don't know what you don't know. And you're trying to make sure he protects his client. Cause you know, regardless of who we represent, we have to make sure everybody is doing what they're supposed to do when you, when you know what to do. That's right. Gentlemen, he just he made so many mistakes and he wouldn't listen to me. And I'm trying to tell you, man, you need to draw this up this way to protect your client and to protect my client because I'm in when I'm in the deal, my job is to protect everybody. You know, make sure we don't catch a lawsuit or and uh, and I ended up having to call the broker in the at the end of the deal, call the broker, and the broker is a is a hands-off broker that doesn't really oversee their agents. I don't want to get into that. But um, then I had to leave her and go to the office manager, which the office manager, I will say, from, from the, the new agent to the broker who's hands off to an office manager, we were able to get this deal closed this morning, man. And um, I mean, with rent backs and I mean, we've got everything, man. Th this one was everything that I've ever done. You know, <laughs> people never moved, they're buying a house. The agent didn't negotiate the buying of the house to get um, the, properly where we do a simultaneous close of the house they're selling and the one they're buying. I'm like, man, how do you, I mean, how do you sell your client's house without knowing for sure they're getting the one that they, you know? Right. So, so that all came into it where I had to kind of jump on the other side and make sure he understood, man, you got to make sure that your people selling this house to buy a house, you got to make sure that you do that right. And, right. Then, and, and that's after I didn't realize that that's what was going on. This right. is a, you know, 50 days in escrow when I find this out. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Oh, so Kenny, this is an extraordinary deal with yeah. extraordinary challenges, but because you are a superman in real estate, you were able to get it done. Wow. And um, uh, I appreciate uh, the opportunity uh, that you extend us on all right. your deals uh, to partner with you to work through these challenges and get your clients uh, finance. Let's talk about some listings, Kenny. You've got some great that. listings in Oakland and, you know, getting a listing, just getting a listing in Oakland is an accomplishment in itself. Am I right about that? It's the inventory is just so Yeah, it's, it's pretty tough right now, man. Um, you know, being around, seeing a lot of markets, I've seen when we've had buyer's markets where there's just a ton of houses on the market, you can just take your client, pick one, and you're the only offer to where we are right now, where every one of my listings, we just did one where we had 21 offers on the, on the, on the table. Um, 21 offers on a three bedroom, one bath house. Um, I did double in that property. You might understand that as well. <laughs> I represented the buyer and the seller, but we had 20 offers that were from another company. And uh, that 21st one is the one that got that property. And that just happened to be my buyer. I, that, that's kind of strange. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? I mean, there, there has to be a benefit to working with Kenny Session, and that is that you're going to get your house. Do you know? That's right. That's right. That's right. So tell us about uh, what you have that's available right now. Well, what I have right now, man, I, I have one property in Oakland right now. Um, um, this is a kind of a dip, one of those deals where I, I helped them save the house about, you know, doing the downturn. 
they were losing the property. I was able to move the property from nephew to from from uncle to nephew to keep it out of foreclosure about three years ago. Um, and we stacked a bunch of money in it. A hard money deal is what we did to make that happen. And now they've gone in and rehabbed the property. I think they only owed about seventy thousand on it. And I moved the property uh, to the nephew for about 120, 130. Now we're going to uh, get rid of that property for about 375. So they've got about two, almost two and a, uh, a quarter of a million dollars um, worth of equity in this property now. It's over at 99176th Street um, here in Oakland. It's going to be listed right at about three, 350, 375. Um, so that's one here in Oakland that's going to be hitting the market. Um, and again, most of our stuff, they don't, I can't tell you about because they sell. I see one of my agents is in the room with us today, Anna, Anna, she just sold one on 100th Avenue. We had that in less than five days. Um, I've got, um, we, our properties are not, if we're doing it right, your property should not be on the market in Oakland more than seven to 10 days. So that's what we have here in Oakland. But the one I really want to talk to, this is an investment property. I think it's a great deal for someone. Um, um, I just did an eight unit in Stockton. I have a six unit building in Stockton, four one bedrooms and two studios. And get this here, $400,000. What? $400,000. Um, six units. Only income is about right under $3,000, $2,900 a month. Um, $400,000, the seller, and, and believe this, the seller may have a little flexibility even at four hundred. dollars Okay? Wow. Um, I, I've been trying not to buy that property myself, you know, because I'd be getting greedy and buy want to buy everything. So <laughs> that one's out there. Um, we just sold one across the street from him, which it was an eight unit that he did all ones that just went in contract a couple of days ago at three uh, at four eighty for 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 eight units. So you know, um, a six unit building is available right now in Stockton. Um, um, there's a lot of great deals that we've been running through in Stockton. In fact, we just, we're just we doing one for David Gadot, another buyer we're working with. He's buying four houses on one lot, four three-bedroom, one bath in Stockton. And the price point on that is only $430,000. So <coughs> you're looking to buy a property in Stockton, holler at your boy. <laughs> <laughs> holler at your boy. Now, what's the MLS number on that six unit for our agents who are watching? Uh, I gave that to your assistant, and she should be putting it up on your website or okay. on, the, on the, she can post it here on your site. All uh, right. I did put a picture of it, so she has it, a uh, picture of it. Uh, so, guys, check out the Facebook uh, chat room. It should be in there. Lauren is uh, posting up the links to these listings for sale as well as the um, – uh, property addresses. And for those of you on Blog Talk Radio, if you're listening online, go to the uh, information page and you'll find the link and the address to these listings. Kenny, you got to tell me on that six unit property in Stockton, 400,000, you're, and you're saying that there may even be some flexibility. What are those units renting for? Well, they're averaging right now around 750. Um, um, we have a few uh, uh, tenants in there that are lower than that. Um, I think I just pulled that up. Hang on, I, I have it. Let me just kind of look at the numbers because I was adding it up before the lady was going to ask me that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've got the average rent out there right now. And then if you go, what I use is I use a, a site called Rental Meter. And typically you can put your address in rentometer.com and it'll tell you what the average rents are in the area and it'll show you what the other area of uh, uh, properties in the area are renting for. And the average rent for one bedroom right now in that area is about $750 per month. Um, we have, I think the lowest rent we have in there right now is 450. So there's some room on that one. We have a couple in, I think at 550. So you can see um, uh, Stockton does not have rent control. So you can pretty much go in there and, and raise your rents to whatever the tenants will be willing to pay. Uh, I'll put it at market. So, you can probably raise that 450 to 700, 750 real easy, man. Now, so, currently, uh, are all the units uh, occupied? Yes, it's fully occupied. In fact, I spoke with the owner yesterday. He's got a waiting list for people that want to move into the into his building. He owns both of the buildings. He owns the eight unit on uh, that I have across the street that went in the contract. Um, and, and actually, that buyer, is, is they're doing their inspections and stuff. I think they want to buy the one across the street. Because I understand it's close to the, all the transportation hubs in Stockton, um, the train station. The um, they've got the 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 train, the BART thing that takes you from Stockton to the BART station, uh, and it's right close to all of that. So 
Uh, there's a lot of redevelopment going on in Stockton right now. There's a lot of things that are, uh, and, but it's a very affordable town, you know. Um, so yeah, it, it's pretty close to transportation as well. Well, it sounds like a wonderful deal, Kenny, with uh, the fact that it's occupied right away. There's at least cash flow happening that will debt service. And, and then if, nobody, if they're on month to month, or do you know, do you know the, 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 the lease situation with the tenants? Are they mostly month to month or they have uh, one year leases? Well, I believe when I got the listing, he had one vacancy, which they've, they've since um, done. So I think everybody in there is on a month to month. I don't think he has any Section 8 tenants in this particular building. They're all month to month. Uh, and with a waiting list for tenants. I mean, um, uh, tenancy in the Bay Area, many people know that it's hard to find a rental. So a lot of people are moving out to the, out that area because rents are more affordable. Right. That same one bedroom here in Oakland, I, I just rented it out. I've got another building I manage. I rented that out for 1800 Wow. Wow. That's a... Uh, so it's gonna, there, there's an issue right now happening both in Northern California and Southern California with rents escalating because vacancy rates are at an all-time low, especially in multifamily buildings is around 4 to 5%, and single-family residences is under 7%. So these are 20-year low vacancy rates. So I can, I can see the demand for affordable rentals and housing is going to uh, continue to increase raising the values in areas like Stockton and Gantock and what have you, right, Brentwood? Well, you think about it, Eric. Let's let's back up a little bit. Remember, you did a loan for, for Dr. Ida. Yes. A couple yes. months ago, last November. That's right. Uh, that was uh, not the first deal we've done, but we let's just go back to that one. Let's look at what that's worth now. She bought that property on 35th and um, 35th and, and, um, and uh, Peniman in Oakland last year where the rents on that building was was very low. I think the total rents were about five about four thousand a month when she bought it and she's gonna move in with an FHA loan with some credits and have you. That building right now, Eric, is worth about 1.2 million. Oh my god. She bought that building last year for seven hundred and fifty nine thousand. We've almost oh. doubled the rents in that building. She's now getting uh, we had one unit that was running for seventeen hundred in Oakland. A three bedroom, two bath. We're now getting twenty nine hundred for that three bedroom, two bath. The two bedrooms are running for fourteen hundred. We're now getting twenty two hundred for the two bedrooms, and the one bedroom I think was thirteen. We're now getting two thousand for that. So right now, I think she's got about seven thousand dollars a month coming into that building with three units rented. Wow, and she's living in one. Living in one, and she, we, 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 the timing could not have been better. We hooked it up, rehabbed the building for her. Right now, based on the income of that building, it's worth about 1.2 million. She wow. made almost a, a half of a million dollars in one year on an income property in Oakland. Now, Kenny, you know, I, I'm gonna take advantage of this moment right now, uh, because as you know, and for those who have been following the powers now, you and you tune in on Tuesday nights uh, and listen to our first time on buyer seminars, we are a proponent of buying a four unit building. I am trying to convince as many of the, we have hundreds of pre-approved buyers, one in a single family home. We're trying to convince every buyer to please consider buying a four unit building using FHA 203K, uh, 203B, that's yeah. three and a half percent down. Yeah, and Kenny, that's the second one you and I have done together. We right. did Nina, right. Nina Ferdinand, followed yeah. our advice. You yes. helped her buy a four-unit building, and her building, I think it was 823000 Her building's worth at least yeah. nine fifty. No, 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 no. It's probably worth $1.3, $1.4. Oh my God! Okay. No, ain't no, ain't no eight hundred stuff right here. She jumped as well. Let me tell you, Eric. This, let me, let me just back you up a little bit to remind you. This ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> Thirty years. Okay, there's hundreds of people all over the Bay Area as well as Southern California who have, are in properties right now where I've created these types of deals for them because I know the numbers. Right. Okay. right. I've got a 1.8 right now. I mean, it's worth 1.7. I just put a buyer in that building for 1.5. I double popped it. And that's, you know, and then guess what? The guy who owned the 1.8 gave me the two properties out in East Oakland because he knows I move property, man. 
Right. I create deals for people. We don't, we don't, people don't just think and say, you know, I want to buy the deal. Sometimes you got to sit down and educate them and make like Ina. We right. sat out and educated you and I, we sat out and educated her about what we were going to do, how we were going to do it. And then she said, I dare you. And I put <laughs> them out together, executed, and got, she got another house. What was it for like she eight, three eight, and a half? Eight, 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 it was eight twenty, but she didn't, I mean it cost her twenty thousand or something to get that. Oh, yeah. We get, we did an FHA, two oh three B, three and a yeah. half percent down. We put she put twenty eight thousand dollars down. We gave her an interest credit to cover all of her closing costs. So Kenny, she went into this property with only th less than thirty grand. She's getting a cash flow now based on the rents of yeah. over a thousand dollars a month. Yeah. Cash flow and she lives in the property. Right. And, and I don't know why I tell Ina's story all the time on Tuesday night. I forgot about Ida. No, I didn't no, no, Ida. Look, Ida, Ida bought that building. She put three and a half percent down, but they paid me three percent to sell it to her. <laughs> And, and, and the closing costs, I think the seller, the seller, I think, did we have the seller pay the majority? We, yes, yes. The seller paid the majority of closing costs. And I think you gave her a small credit, which she didn't need because she had the money. Right. But, and at the end of the day, she put three and a half percent down and they paid me three percent to sell the building for her. She got that building for a half of a percent. Wow, wow. I mean, wow. When, you, when you do the math. Yeah. And now she's got a, a, a th almost a $3,000 a month positive cash flow, and she lives in the building. Wow. Folks, I, I tell you, real estate professionals who are listening to this program right now, you got to get educated on multi-unit properties. Start yeah. with the four unit because you can use conventional and government financing to get, in, get your clients in these buildings. And in fact... Uh, with this new product, Kenny, I'm going to be talking about next week, where we can help a person buy the land and build a house. You can do one to four units on that program with only three and a half percent down. I'm talking land acquisition and construction of the new house. I cannot wait to roll that out and, and help more people get into homes. And said, so if you have an opportunity to buy the land and build a house, why not build a four unit building? Why build a, why build a single family home? I'm going to throw something at you right now that's going to blow you up. I've got some dirt in West Oakland right now. Um, we may or may not stay in contract. Um, it's a little more pricey. It's $800,000, um, and it may come back on the market. I'm not quite sure yet. Then I just got a lady call me yesterday about a, a buildable lot in West in, in East Oakland for $50,000. Um, I just did one a couple months ago. These were more of investors bought this probably for 125. So we do have some lots here in Oakland. For y'all out there that's listening that want to buy a house and probably move into a new house, man, call your boy. Man, I, I mean, I would love, me and Erica put that together so fast, you probably would be home before you even could possibly let the team drop. <laughs> I tell people all the day, don't call me if you ain't really wanting to move because I ain't playing with you. <laughs> Folks, you are listening to and watching Kenneth Sessions, the man, Mr. Oakland. I'm telling you. Kenny, give your telephone number for someone who wants to reach out yeah. to you. Well, my phone number is 510-568-4200. Um, we're working on my website right now, sessionrealestate.com. But also, you can go to my, my YouTube page. This is going to blow them away, Eric. They can go to my YouTube page and see shows that I've done with Eric a couple years ago, which we aired on Coffee TV Channel 20. Um, we're coming back, Eric. You know, we've been talking about it. We're we're rebuilding my website, which we're going to be kind of doing very much what Eric is doing. I'm bringing the In Session Real Estate TV show back online. We're trying to get it done by January, but if not, we're hopefully by the end of January, the In Session Real Estate TV show will be back on air. Um, I've been doing the show, like you said, for almost 20 years, Eric, and um, you've been on my show. You can go see the shows that me and Eric did together, as well as The Power Is Now uh, was my, my, my title sponsor at the time. And I want to thank you for investing in my, my company, Eric, because Eric definitely did for you, you Power Is Now agents. And even trying to recruit me like crazy for the last two years. But I well my staff, we ain't going nowhere. We <laughs> and I'm not a good employee, Eric, so you don't have no problems out your employees, huh? I'm not a good employee. I don't know how to be an employee. Well, Kenny, we'll see about that. 
I know you ain't gonna stop, but yeah, but go check out the YouTube page too. Session Real Estate's real, uh, YouTube page. A lot of educational stuff on my web page. Um, we were talking. I think back then we were talking about FHA no nos. That's no right. Down, no closing costs for FHA loans. That's a long the deal we did. I've got shows on my page about um, reverse mortgages, why yeah. and why not. We've right. got a, uh, a show on there about living trust versus right. wills. I've right. done a, a, a something with, it, um, um, with a, one of the um, uh, reverse mortgage people. Um, the, uh, oh, the other guy, um, uh, uh, Operation Hope. Yeah, Brian. Show Brian. Operation Hope, um, Brian. Yes, Brian. I remember one of the people with uh, John Hope Bryant. Yes. Uh, we did a show with them to talk about some of the services Operation Hope provides to our community, help us get ready. So, you know, I've been doing what you've been doing for a long time, and we're going to be coming back so we can come. And we're not, we never going to compete, man. We're going to just help each other. And I thank you for your help even now, man. Uh, we, we, we get ready to blow up on both, on both sides once again. Hey, it's all about collaboration and partnership and supporting one another. There's enough business out there for everybody. Thank you, Kenny, for yes, uh, being on today. All right. next, next up is uh, my right hand, Christina Kimball. She is the relationship manager of The Power Is Now, agent extraordinaire hand, holding down Orange County till we get somebody to hold down Orange County for her. Uh, 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 Christina, you have some listings for some of our just uh, one of my favorite agents. And I, I mean, of course, I love all my agents, but you know we have our favorites. Michelle Dupree out of Fisher Realtors. Yes, I do. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Um, I want to say I am senior relationship manager. I'm also a licensed realtor. Um, and if you have a listing um, and you're shy or you're just way too busy, please contact me and I will be happy to share your listing um, live like I am today with, for Michelle and also for uh, Mr. Fisher because he has a listing as well. You just contact me, send me your information and I will take care of it. That is one of the benefits uh, of partnering with the Powers Now. So I just want to put that out there. Um, before we get started, I'm going to share my license number and then I'll share Michelle's. My license number is 013-95886. As I said before, not only am I a relationship manager, I'm also a licensed realtor. So if you have some real estate questions, um, I can help you with that as well. Now, Michelle has a listing in Richmond. It's a very nice property. I don't have the MLS number, I must say. However, I have all the details. <coughs> Excuse me. It is a four-bedroom two bath, 1600 square foot home. It's listed for $599,600. Um, let's see here. She says it has a huge backyard with lemon, apple, orange trees, a two car garage, which additional space for parking, um, easy access to public transportation, freeway, bar, elementary schools, and walking distance. <coughs> I apologize. It is a, um, she's having an open house this Saturday from one to four. It was built in 1969. Um, it's only been on listed for about 16 days. So this is a brand new listing. Um, as I said before, I was gonna share her license number. So bear with me one moment and I will get that for you. I need the purchase price too. Um, oh, I, oh, I thought I said, I'm sorry, 599,600. I apologize. I okay. do. <laughs> So 509, so that's definitely within the FHA limit, three and a half percent down on this home, four bedrooms, two baths. That's perfect for a family. Yes. Um, and I have another one with Mr. Fisher too. Just bear with me one second here. So Michelle Dupree uh, has uh, done a number of transactions with us. Yes. Every, every couple of months, we are putting on first time home buyer seminars at Fisher Realtors in Richmond, California. I right. think we've done at least five or six now, and we pack the house, folks, every time we do a seminar at Fisher Realtors. Joe Fisher is an icon in Richmond, been there his entire life, investor, broker, owner of Fisher Realtors. Michelle Dupree, office manager, agent extraordinaire, does a wonderful job and has been partnering us now for well over a year and, um, and and, and allowing us to assist her clients and, and buying uh, the listings and are representing them on, on uh, other listings with other companies. Right. Um, Let me just add real quick, I'm sorry. Um, the 
address <clears throat> of the property is 4795 is Praterio Avenue in Richmond. And again, it's listed for 599-600. Michelle's license number is 0171-4686. Her phone number to reach her is area code 510-759-1045. And that's how you reach Michelle directly. She's at a broker's, uh, she having a broker's open today. So she's working. <laughs> and so that's why she could not join us. So I just wanted to put that out there. And as you mentioned, Mr. Joe Fisher also has a listing. <clears throat> it's in Richmond as well. And uh, give me one moment. Oh, while I'm pulling that up, I did want to share that we will be uh, at Fisher Realty in January. The latter part of January, we're looking at the third or fourth Thursday in January. I'm going to confirm that. Um, because we're going to do a three or four city tour. So Mr. Fish, I mean, uh, Eric <laughs> will be out there at Fisher Realties and probably maybe two or three other churches. I just need to confirm and that all that information will be on the website. You guys don't worry about it. Um, and Eric will announce it later on this month as well. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So here we go. <clears throat> Fisher... I'm sorry, I keep pulling up Michelle, so I apologize for that. Uh, While you're pulling up uh, uh, yeah. Joe Fisher's listing, uh, Joe Fisher, Fisher Realtors, is in Richmond at 180 West uh, Broadway, I believe. Uh, please uh, reach out to Joe Fisher if you're interested in selling property or buying property in Richmond and his team. Uh, Joe is, a, as I indicated before, he's an icon in Richmond, been around for 35 years uh, and engaged in the real estate business. And uh, he has some top seasoned agents that are working out of his office. And uh, we have been partnered together for a while and conducting these first time home buyer seminars. And I appreciate their commitment to homeownership, especially working in low to moderate income communities. Uh, and allowing us to come out and to talk about zero down, no money down. Every transaction we have done uh, for Fisher Realtors have, it was a no money down or limited down payment program. Right. Most of the programs I do with Kenny Sessions, little money down or no money down, we are really committed to making a difference in our community, and particularly in the African-American community. We have the ability to pay. We just don't have the money. And uh, so there are programs that will provide the money. And if sometimes it's just limited to the down payment, but uh, in many cases, because of the agents we're working with, like April and like Kenny and Michelle, they're seasoned agents, they know how to structure the deal to get the seller to participate and, and help with the closing costs and get the buyer in. And so uh, that's what I love about this business. I love making the dream of ownership a reality for people and at the same time working with with uh, just uh, professionals who are like-minded and they really have a heart for buyers and helping people sell. Right. So, uh, so I, <laughs> I apologize, I do have that. Okay. okay, so Mr. Fisher's listing is at 369 South 20th Street in Richmond. And he has a four bedroom, two bath. It's 1400 square feet. It's listed for 399,000. Um, let's see here. He's doing an open house on December 16th from 1 to 4. Uh, let's see. Uh, directly across from Coronado Elementary School, close to public transportation and the 580 freeway and walking distance to the YMCA. And it's only been on, uh, listed for one day. So uh, this is a brand new listing. So I'm sure everybody wants to jump on that right away. <laughs> Did you say 399000 Yes, three hundred ninety nine thousand for a four bedroom. Four bedroom. How many baths? A uh, two bath. Uh, the lot is forty forty one ninety nine square feet actually. And it's right across the street from a school. <clears throat> yes, it is. It's across from an elementary school and close to a YMCA. Wait a minute. You tell Joe that's so. We, don't we have buyers, right? <laughs> Absolutely, we have buyers. As a matter of fact, we're working with a buyer right now, right? With Fisher Realty. Listen, folks. Um, let me tell you something. Uh, uh, if, you, if you're a buyer's agent and you're working with buyers, you've got to be on top of it. That's why we're doing this show, because there are opportunities out there coming on the market, uh, you know, been on the market for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, what have you. Um, we are not um, 
uh, limiting the access uh, to anyone to be a part of this marketing uh, session. Doesn't matter what company you work for, doesn't matter where you are. You can be in Barbados, for God's sake, like uh, <laughs> Rohan is. <laughs> or you can be right there in Oaktown, where Kenny Session is, or down in the, in the hills of, uh, of uh, Napa and the Lake County uh, mm -hmm. with April. It doesn't matter where you are. If you've got a listing, let the world know about it. If you are interested in reaching out to Michelle Dupree, Joe Fisher, please reach out uh, to uh, Christina Kimball and she can make that contact. And also I'm sure Lauren is putting their contact information and the MLS number and all of that in the chat room of Facebook. And for those of you who are listening on Blog Talk Radio, uh, it will be on the info section, information section of Blog Talk Radio. Uh, Christine, can I just want to share my phone number? I'm sorry. Okay. For those that have any questions on any of the listings or any of the loan programs or anything at all of the powers now, powers now or any of our agents um, or any of the events that we'll be having, please call me 714-709-1394. Again, that's 714-709-1394. Fantastic. Well, folks, uh, this concludes the first Power Is Now marketing session. If you're interested in participating next week, we're going to be here next Thursday, same time, 1230. Please reach out to Christina Kimball, drop her an email, drop me an email, and uh, let's get you set up on a Zoom platform so we can broadcast through Facebook. This show will be rebroadcast also on Block Talk Radio, which is syndicated to just about every online radio platform. We have over millions, actually just a, over a million just on Block Talk that does not include iTunes and the other online radio platforms. And of course, we're gonna be collaborating with Kenneth Sessions when he launches the Sessions TV coming up in January and just uh, creating an opportunity for people to hear and, and to learn about great opportunities to buy real estate. But you know what, we're not gonna just limit it to people who want to buy, I mean, to sell real estate. Uh, if you are a buyer's agent and you have needs, uh, please let us know about it. You can join us as well. We'll do a whole section on buyer needs and hopefully we can put the listing agent and the buyer's agents together and we can make this really a very powerful, uh, informative show uh, that uh, can help a lot of people make the American dream a reality. And so I appreciate uh, everyone being on the call today. Thank you, Michelle and Joe, for providing your listings. Thank you, April, for entrusting us with your career and joining our team. I can't wait to blow you up on the PARS Now uh, platform. Thank you, Rohan, for joining us all the way from Barbados. We're looking forward to working with Rohan and publishing his first book, uh, the Power Is Now, as you know, is a publishing company and a media company, and we'll be working with him on publishing his first book. And then, of course, my good friend Kenny and just your consistent man, always bringing us in, partnering with you, man. It's an honor and a privilege. You are my brother. I appreciate you, man. I, I want you to know we got your back on Sessions TV, and that one day, one day, Mr. Sessions, you're going to be on the Power Is Now team. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll talk about that later. Saying, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, folks, that concludes our show today. Remember, we are at our best and we maximize our success when we act now. Why? Because the power is now. Thank you for joining us. See you soon right here next week on The Power Is Now. The Power is Now Mortgage Services is a mortgage brokerage licensed by the State of California Bureau of Real Estate. License number 1980407 and the National Mortgage License System and Registry. License number 1435243 and is a division of The Power is Now Incorporated. License number 01980407. The Power is Now Incorporated is not affiliated with any state or federal agency. The Power is Now Real Estate Services is also licensed by the State of California Bureau of Real Estate. License number 01980407 and is a division of The Power is Now Incorporated. The Power is Now Incorporated is an equal housing lender. Eric Lawrence Frazier, MBA, is a California licensed loan originator, NMLS license number 461807, and a licensed real estate broker, California Bureau of Real Estate license number 01143484. Restrictions may apply to all loan programs.
The information and data are subject to change without notice. All loans are subject to credit approval. The information presented is not a commitment to lend or extend credit. Not all loans or products are available in all states. The Power Is Now Mortgage Services and Real Estate Services are a division of the Power Is Now Incorporated and are only licensed to conduct business in the state of California.